Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLBS. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days' worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame. I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation kind of makes mapping out uh, the entire story quite straightforward. And if you're saying, Clay, describe this for me, I'd say pump and dump on thin ice. What do I mean by that? Well, let's first talk about pump and dump. Now, I'm not saying that this company's run out of somebody's shed or anything like that. I'm talking about strictly the price action. How did the price act today? And my definition of a pump and dump is price makes in a very uh, impressive move. And then within a, a short amount of time, the price is essentially back to you know where it started. So let's apply that definition real quick. Well, the price, I would say from where it was here to where it gapped up, that was a very impressive move. But then within a relatively short amount of time, price goes essentially back to where it all started. Now, this is where I say thin ice because okay, according to that definition, you know, this whole move started down here, you know, right around the $5.30 mark. So is the price down at $5? Whoops. Is the price down there at $5.30? No, it's not down there at $5.30. But I think we can all agree that, yeah, the price made a big move and then there's a whole lot of downwards pressure in it right now. So, you know, I wanna be fair though. The bulls do still have a chance to technically build upon this move. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say that the price actually does bottom out right here. Again, to be fair, the bulls did do a good job of, you know, having the price go sideways there. When you compare that with the previous set of lows, which would be down around here, and then if you picture those as stair steps, well, yeah, the bulls could still then continue to build in the upwards direction and therefore carry on, you know, with the overall uptrend. But like I said, right now, that's where thin ice is coming from because you got to be fair. So I'll call it a pump and dump on thin ice. Now, had the price, or I should say on Monday, if the price just continues on down and then all of a sudden, you know, it's down in this area of the chart, which is clearly right back to where it was, well, then that's the full definition of pump and dump, you know, in place. But that hasn't happened yet. Uh, so, you know, don't want to just sit here and, and make it sound like that's for sure going to happen either because, you know, at the end of the day, there are no guarantees in the market. So who knows? Maybe this is actually the bottom here and the bulls are getting ready to skyrocket it back up. But we'll just have to wait till Monday and see. So again, what do I think about this one? Pump and dump on thin ice. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.